How to get to the Little Red Lighthouse in Upper Manhattan. Hey guys, it's Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Sunday, August 24th, 2014. And I've had quite a few requests to make a little video on the best way to get to this Little Red Lighthouse in Upper Manhattan, which is a historic location. I should tell you guys that the only way to get there is either on foot or by bike. And we're going to cover that right now, today. I decided to start off with an easy location as a starting point, the corner of Fort Washington Avenue and 178th Street, which is right by the George Washington Bridge bus terminal. From this point, you would walk down 178th Street, past where it says do not enter, and there's a taxi cab there, straight down, continue down like this, Notice all the traffic on the right side there. You won't have to worry about that though. But continuing down, at this block here, which is Cabrini Boulevard, you will make a left-hand turn right there. Cabrini Boulevard and 178th Street. You'll just walk straight down the sidewalk there on Cabrini Boulevard to the very end where it hits 177th Street. You will then cross over and make a right. Walk maybe half a block, not even that, and you will come to Haven Avenue. Walk across the street, make a left onto Haven, and immediately on your right you will see this unmarked entranceway here. You will enter it, make a left, and begin walking down this path. This section of your voyage is going to be the most desolate and also the most photogenic. Continuing down this path, here you will make a right. You will walk over the ramps that lead to the George Washington Bridge. Okay? Continue. You'd make a right now and you'll walk down this path. Here it gets to be a little bit desolate and it's very photogenic. I urge you guys only to do this during the day. When you get to this point, you'll make a left. You're just going to follow the path mainly. All right, make the left. Head down this way. I want you to notice, don't just walk down here. I want you to notice everything as you're walking. Notice the railings. Everything is original from when it was built. And I believe that was the early 40s. Continuing down this path, you can see the graffiti guys have done their job well. You bear right here. All right, more graffiti work. A lot of the railing has been taken out over the years. Notice how low the ramps are here. If you're a tall person, you better watch your head. Okay, again, continue and the ramp forks to the right. And again, you don't want to be here at night. As you can see, I met somebody that was just hanging out there. Continuing down, again, I want you to notice what I call the local color. This is all original from the day it was constructed. Nothing's been changed, except for possibly the head on that light pole, because they had been banged out in the 70s by vandals. All right, keep walking down the path. Notice how the railing was knocked over and never replaced. That railing has been knocked over as long as I can remember. We're almost to the bottom of this section of the path now, and you'll notice it curves to the left. As you reach the base and you get down here, you'll make a right-hand turn on the path. You'll continue straight down. Now, you're going to be crossing over to here because this is actually an underground passageway. Before we do that, excuse me, before we do that, look to the right and you'll see the stairs that go up. We'll visit them later on the way back. I just couldn't pass that shot up. Now as I said, we're going to cross over here and we're going to go to a tunnel that leads under the Henry Hudson Parkway. Now, it's much easier, and I know a lot of people would rather run across the Henry Hudson Parkway to get to the other side because 
some people feel the tunnel is unsafe. And we'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, Highway 1 is sitting here with the speed trap. While I was photographing, two people came by on a bicycle and attempted to cross the highway here. And the cop flipped his siren on and he warned them against doing it. And I showed them how to go to, under the tunnel. Because the, really, the signs are not well marked at all. And if you don't know the area, you'd probably try and run across the parkway. Now, you're going to walk down these steps into the tunnel. You'll notice right here there's a metal bar. When I was a kid, there was no metal bar here, and people would drive cars down this ramp and strip them. I'm not kidding. So they had to put the bar up. But walk down those steps, all right? You'll be walking underneath this parkway. Continuing down, this is what the tunnel looks like. In the 70s, this was not the way to go. As a kid, I, I shouldn't say this, but I will. As a kid, I always ran across the highway. I'm going to put a flat out. All right, coming out of the tunnel, you'll walk up these steps. You get to the top here, and you're going to bear right up this little path, and you'll see you're now on the opposite side of the Henry Hudson Parkway. Continue walking north. You'll come underneath the George Washington Bridge here to the other side. You'll cross this ramp onto this pathway. You'll then walk down this pathway all the way down this very steep hill here. It's hard riding a bicycle up here. A lot of people had to push their bikes up. All right, you'll fork left underneath this tunnel. Nice tunnel. You'll come out here and you're approaching the bridge over the railroad tracks. This bridge looks like it was put up with spit and a prayer. It's made of wood and in a couple of sections the wood was actually rotting through so I wouldn't trust anything heavy on that. Continue down this path. You'll keep going. You'll notice there's a lot of scenic overlooks and trails. All right. And, you know, they look kind of cool to explore, but if you're going to do it, just be real careful. Continue down the path. A little more. And bingo! There we are. The Little Red Lighthouse. You've heard about it. It's been immortalized in a book called The Little Red Lighthouse and the Great Great Bridge that was published in 1942. This is the last surviving lighthouse in Manhattan. It was built in 1921, decommissioned in 1932, and had candle power of 10. There's a Parks Department plaque. This whole area was refurbished in 2013. Didn't always look this neat. I was lucky to get a clear day. In fact, I've been waiting so long to make this video till we actually had a clear Sunday. There's a view of the bridge. There is an old, I guess, doorway to the lighthouse that was sealed up many, many years ago. You cannot get anywhere near it. As you can see, it's sur surrounded by grating. Keep the vandals out. I wonder what it's like in there, though. And there's another ceremonial plaque. Okay, what I'm going to do now since I have a little time left over, is show you a few bonus shots that you will encounter if you know where to look on the path we just took, or slightly off it. I want you to see these. Here I took a picture of where a large chunk of the wall in the tunnel has fallen away. And you can see somebody, the city, painted over to make it match the original color. But I thought that was very interesting. All right? And there you can get a better look at it. Remember earlier I showed you some steps that were leading up? Well, if you walk all the way up there, you're going to come to what I believe is an old, non-working fountain. It's the only thing I can think it would be. I've never seen it working, but if any of you guys who lived in here, in this area back in the old days, can tell me something about this. Looking to the right from the fountain, you got this cool look of the underside of the ramps to the bridge. Looking to the left, you can see these stairs that go up 
they're not used anymore. In fact, I think they're fenced off at top, if my memory serves me correctly. Here, this leads down to Riverside Drive. This is actually right next to Riverside Drive, and these again are the ramps that lead to the Henry, excuse me, the Henry Hudson Parkway and the Cross Bronx and the bridge. Another, cu another cool view of same that's looking northbound. This has been sealed off for many years. Originally it was designed as a walkway, a conduit. Well, even when I was a kid in the 70s, they would load garbage in here and they would steal cars and put them in here. I want you to see close hand the amount of garbage in here right now. Isn't this a freaking shame? I can never remember this place not being loaded with garbage. Often I would find people living under here. It's just unbelievable. I wonder how long this stuff's been festering. It's not the same garbage from when I was a kid. This is the other entrance way to the garbage area. If you want to go in from the other way, see they put the reason they put this concrete thingy up is so people can't drive stolen cars in there because that's what they used to do. Graffiti work. It starts off clean, but bango. There's what it looks like from entering the other way. Close up view. And heading back out. Going away. And that's it. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of how to get to the Little Red Lighthouse in Upper Manhattan. If you guys need a video made of any other New York City locations or have any questions, hit me up. I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thanks for watching this video. Rock on guys.